I don't think I'm learning so much as having certain things confirmed, certain speculations are tending to be confirmed, uh, namely that um, Tsarism and the Soviet system and the Russian Federation, they're all connected by, in a sense, the same tradition and history and heritage. And there is perhaps, as with all countries, there is a, a nature to the people. And for year, many years now, um, perhaps in a rather oversimplified way, I've thought of the Russian authorities, the whatever regime is in Russia, um, as being essentially expansionist. Um, it's the way their history has gone. And of course, it's true not only of, of Russia. But yeah, um, I, um, I've watched Mr. Putin uh, for so many years now, and I was never warm towards what vibes he gave out. But nowadays, uh, I find him truly alarming. Um, and I don't honestly know how one deals uh, with a situation like this, because um, <clears throat> the history I grew up with, uh, it hadn't really changed. Uh, you know, if, uh, I was making judgments about the way of the world when Queen Victoria was on the throne and earlier. Uh, once we got to 1945 and there was the prospect of existential annihilation, uh, it, it was clear to everybody that the response that one made um, towards an aggressive act by this country or that country uh, has to be measured in a different way now. And to bring us right up to date, you know, today's newspaper, um, the truth is I don't know how one contains, how one makes a threat meaningful. Um, <laughs> You know, we talk, my friends and I, and, and Sabrina and I, to even just at breakfast, we're wondering whether the people around Mr. Putin will turn on him as they find that their life, their lifestyle is under threat. But the truth of the matter is, um, I feel like Trigorin in Seagull, who has a long speech in which he complains about the fact that because he's written certain kind, certain work, you know, fiction and plays, people turn to him and say, tell us about this and tell us about that. And he is sort of bewildered and resentful. He says, how the hell do I deal with that? I, you know, I'm a, I'm a writer. I'm not a diplomat. I'm not a politician. I'm not a soldier. Um, so I do feel outside the circle of action. I feel like an observer. <laughs>